cannot think of a day without talking with people. From conversation with our family to formal official meetings, verbal communication is how we connect with people. Things aren't so easy for the people who are hearing impaired. Life becomes quite difficult when you cannot communicate with people in their language. And the hardships actually start from within family when the deaf person is ignored and deprived of the care they need. This situation applies in case of the deaf community in Bangladesh as well. Surveys done by Bangladesh National Federation of the Deaf states about 1.5 million deaf people in the country, of which only 4% are receiving formal education and only 10% are employed. Bengali Sign Language has 38 signs for the alphabet, of which 9 are for vowels and 29 are for consonants. And then there are more than 4,000 signs for commonly used words. Our project aims to eliminate the need for a human interpreter, we are developing an easily accessible software or interface that can be used with a computer or a smartphone. The application will be able to recognize and interpret the sign since working as a real-time sign to text interpreter which is the first of its kind for Bengali lang sign language. We collaborated with the Bangladesh National Federation of the Deaf for sourcing the standard signs, a professional sign language interpreter from the Federation, Mr. Siroza Begum Rani, supervised the sample collection process which includes both deaf and normal people. We collected a total of 12,000 hand signs for the Bengali alphabet under her supervision. Here is a demonstration of our software. A webcam is used to feed live photos of hand signs to the application. As it can be seen, the algorithm manages to detect the hand signs for the letters of Bengali alphabet. Here is a brief demonstration on one of the applications of our project. We are using our algorithm of sign to text interpreter to teach deaf kids about Bengali letters. Here is a short interview with Mrs. Firoza Begumrani, who talks about the issues faced by the deaf community and how this application may help them in day-to-day -day life. We also spoke with Mr. Masudur Rahman, who is a member of the working committee and supervises the boys' hostel of the federation. Our proposed system can be used in public services as a such as hospitals, marketplaces, restaurants, or transports to create a deaf-friendly environment. Normal people will be able to understand the hand gestures and express simple instructions in sign language using the software. Such a low-cost and easily usable technique will facilitate the deaf community to a great extent that will help them lead a better life. 